It's Monday morning, Glads. I'm Mr. Hill, And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. Let's check in with Miss Betsy to see what's on the menu today. Monday, it's hot wings. I know you like them too. It's Tuesday, we're having pork enchiladas. Come on down and see us. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your account and bring in your purple free slash reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy. Glads, yearbook prices are going up soon. Order yours now while the price is right. Juniors and seniors, we have several colleges visiting us as those college application deadlines get closer. Here's the lineup. Senior Tomorrow is the CSU Pueblo application day. Bring in your application and school transcripts and the CSU reps will start processing your application minus the $25 fee. See the counseling center for your pass. The braid bar is coming on Wednesday when the reps from Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy visit. Seniors, if you have your cap and gown and class ring orders, bring them on Thursday, November 9th to the Herf Jones reps. The deadline for all orders is December 21st. And remember that on November 16th, the reps from Adams State will be here. As always, swing by the counseling center to pick up your hall passes for college. Visits. When we come back, we'll have some fundraising news for you. But first, here's Karen Doolittle with our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Monday morning, Glads, and I'm Karen Doolittle with your Gladiator Sports Update. Our forensics team traveled to Woodland Park on Saturday and had some great results. The team is headed to Pueblo West this coming weekend for a tournament there. Our Gladiator football team fought hard on Friday night with what could only be described as a seam straight out from the movie Twister. Our Glads chased those cyclones but couldn't manage their way out of the storm. This ends a great season for our Glads. Thanks for the memories. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads volleyball team put in tremendous effort against some very strong teams. The ladies, however, will not be moving on. Thanks for a great season. Speaking of volleyball, guys interested in the gents volleyball tourney, sign-ups are going on now until November 8th before and after school in room 103. The cost to enter a team is $5 for 17 members. The tournament runs from November 13th to the 17th. Attention all winter sports athletes, yellow cards and physical forms are still available in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, just pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices start on Friday. This announcement is for all athletes. If you are interested in playing Division I or Division II sports in college, come to the NCAA eligibility presentation by Mr. Hall and Mr. Thiel. They will be in the WHS library when, on Tuesday, November 7th at 6 p.m. If you are interested in being an athletic trainer for winter sports, Doc is having a meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 511. See Doc if you are interested but cannot make the meeting. Good luck to all our sports teams as they begin practices on Friday. That's it for our sports update. Have a great day. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Marissa and Maddie. Thanks, Kieran. Hey, Glads. The first fundraiser going on right now is the FCCLA Customizable Magnetic Jewelry Cell. If you want the best Charlie Gladiator necklace ever or maybe a keychain, bracelet, ring, or a charm, visit this website to order yours today. Our next fundraiser is happening tonight, 5 to 8 p.m. NJROTC is hosting a spirit night at the Chick-fil-A on Mesa Ridge Parkway. Give your mom a break and eat more chicken. If you haven't had a chance to check out the new Gladiator gear in the student store, you should stop by the attendance or business office to see what's new. The store is open in the cafeteria before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And now, here are your clubs and activities updates for Monday and Tuesday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. Science Club meets today at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also today, room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Hines. And the Spirit Club also meets after school today in rooms 502 or 511. Check your calendar for these Tuesday meetings. Forensics in Ms. Owen's room at lunch. The Young Americans for Freedom meet in room 208 with Mr. Kessel every other Tuesday. Check with Mr. Kessel to find out their meeting schedule. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you are interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Ms. Shepard. GLATS, final exams are just around the corner and NHS wants to help you be successful. NHS students offer free tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings. Remember, the library is only available on Thursdays for computer use and tutoring. Come see Anne of Green Gables on November 10th and 11th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. 
Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults. Come support your fellow GLADS. That's all for our news today. Remember, this is a short week. Have a great Monday. I'm Marissa Trehill. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.